finally. Was wondering when you'd get back. Uh, don't. Put your hands up. You heard me. Hands up. Now. <laughs> Do you really think I'm stupid? I know just how fast you can reach your iron. Hands above your head, smartass. There you go. See? Wasn't that hard, was it? Now, turn around and face me. And keep your hands right there. What? Surprise to see me? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, dear brain. Did you miss me? Oh. How mean. Well, I missed you. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's no way to greet an old friend. Who said anything about me needing something from you? Hmm? Can't I just stop by to say hello? No? <laughs> If nothing else, your instincts are spot on. <laughs> yes, I'm not here just for the fun of it. Actually, I'm here on a business. Yeah, you heard that right. Business. You do remember what I do for a living, don't you? I mean, how can you not, you hired me to be your bodyguard for, uh, what was it? Oh, right. For five years. Should have been long enough for you to understand what I do. <laughs> oh, no, actually. Um, not just some guard dog. In fact, I... Never played guard dog for anyone. Anyone except you. Which is actually pretty sad when you think about it. The genius weaponsmith. A terrifyingly smart inventor of plagues, iron, and everything in between. Can't even use those weapons to scare off all the people who want them dead. <laughs> Luckily, I've gotten more interesting job since you decided that you didn't need me. Unfortunately for you, right here is one of those jobs. What? Were you expecting something else? <laughs> Did you think I would, I don't know, come crawling back to you? Ready to beg on my hands and knees for you to take me back. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Maybe in your dreams, your brain. But no. I came here because I took a contract that just so happens to involve you. You and that uh, dirty little secret you've been keeping. Or... At least you've been trying to keep and <laughs> evidently doing a desperate job of it. Well, if you've been doing good at keeping it a secret, I wouldn't be here now, would I? But when I was offered the contract, whew, my employer already knew everything about it. So clearly, you didn't do a great job. <laughs> yeah, everything. The blueprints, the prototype, the thermal capabilities. Oh, they knew all about it. Makes me wonder, just who did you trust with that information? Hmm? As far as I knew, 
I have been the only person who told about those things. You know, back when I was your guard dog. <laughs> oh, I know. You must have found some other bodyguard to tell your secret to after you kicked me to the curb. Found some, I don't know, other gun fryer to keep you company and listen to all your weapon babble. After all, you can't keep this up alone. You need someone to watch your back when you're out there. You can stay nice and protected in here. This workshop is rigged with so many traps that it may as well be a torture chamber to anyone else. <laughs> oh, but outside this place, when you're out in the world, trying to make deals and get materials you need, out there, you need someone. You need a bodyguard. You need a gun, like me. <laughs> But look at how that turned out for you. Hmm? You trusted the first no name you found, and they went and sold you out. Now your project has been linked to every big name on the black market, and you've got a target in your back, and people gunning for your head. Even worse is that now. You don't even have a guard dog, no one to protect you, not even me, <laughs> and that's a big, big problem for you. Want to know why? Because I'm the one who they sent after you, and I know you better than anyone. <laughs> oh, but I do. I fucking do. <laughs> I mean, how else would I have gotten in here without one of your traps killing me? Hmm? Because you told me, you told me all about this workshop, what you do here, your projects. I know all about your work, your brain, and I know all about you. Mm hmm. I do. You can try to deny it all you want, but I know you like the back of my hand, and because I know you, I know that you're way, way too smart to leave that prototype just lying around. Even as locked up as you've got the place, you know it's not safe to leave weapon like that alone. Anyone with the right skills could break in and steal it. Like myself, <laughs> awful paranoid, aren't you? Not many people have those skill, you know. But you've always been the type to think that something is only safe when you can't see it, which means. <laughs> say anything. I can see it in your face. So, where is it, huh? In your bag? Got a holster somewhere on you. <laughs> Not gonna talk, huh? Well, can't say I expected you to. But you're not making this any easier. Shut up. And toss me the bag. Hey, be careful with how you're talking. I'm the one with the iron here, and you, of all people, should know damn well that I don't miss. Now the bag, give. <clears throat> don't use one hand. Keep the other in the air. I don't care if that makes it harder. I'm not stupid enough to let you move both hands out of sight. Now set it on the ground, 
Slowly. Get kept over for me. <laughs> Not in here, huh? Figures. You're too smart to do that. So where is it? Oh, don't just run. Tell me where it is. <laughs> you just can't make it easy, can you? <sighs> God, you're such a pain in the ass. Do you not have to be so damn hat strong? Yeah, I do admire it. Not when you're using it against me. <sighs> you know what? Fine. If you don't want to do this the easy way, you sure as hell don't have to. <clears throat> right. There we go. Much easier to make sure you're not a problem when I've got you pinned. Now let's see here. If I were a prototype of a gun with hellishly disruptive abilities, where would I be? <laughs> well, obviously nowhere in plain sight, since I'm an electric-based gun that can discharge enough voltage to kill anything in spitting distance. Somewhere secure too. Wouldn't exactly go over well for something like that to fall out of your pocket now, wouldn't they? <laughs> Firstly, for both of us, I do know exactly where you keep your iron. Pull your jacket up. <laughs> Head out of the gutter, smartass. I'm checking for a holster. Now pull your jacket up. One hand. Keep the other up. Come on, we've been through this. <laughs> there we go. Not so hard, was it? No. We'll start on your leg. On either leg? Huh. Now what's with that? What I mean is that you always used to keep your iron strapped to your leg. You said it made it easier to carry, since your tool belt would get in the way of normal holster. You always had it on. Why'd you change it for? Still hurts? What do you mean? Hold on, that sounds like... <sighs> Shit. The new merc you hired today. <sighs> they... tortured you. You didn't tell them because you trusted them. They... forced you into telling them about the prototype. Then they sold everything off to the highest bidder, and that's why they hired me, I bet. They probably figured after you tossed me out, I would want you dead and that I would get a laugh. Oh, fuck! You little... <laughs> Smart move, disarming me like that, gear brain. I don't think that I only brought one weapon. <laughs> Remember this one little toy you gave me? Yeah. Beautiful little piece of work. Even by your standard. Durable metal. A nice serrated edge. And my favorite and best of all. A turbo component that burns hot enough to catarize anything I cut. Works real nice for a merc like me. A blade that 
cuts and tears like it came from hell, then burns them so they can heal right if they tried. No easier way to kill a target than that. How you manage to get a thermal component into a blade like this is still beyond me, but that's why you're the genius. Right, Gear Rain? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. back against the wall. I just told you how effective this pretty demon of a blade is. Well, you made it. <laughs> you already know how dangerous it is. Do you really want to experience that firsthand? Good choice. Now where were we? Well, it's pretty clear that the prototype is under your jacket, so you need to take it off. And since I have to keep reminding you, one hand. Don't need you trying anything funny. Yeah, really. Go on, take it off. What? Taking so long, gear brain? It can't possibly be that hard. Really? You can't get the zipper down? Tell me you're joking. Well, get it unstuck. <laughs> oh no, absolutely not. One hand. Then keep trying. God, you're taking too long. Move, move your hand. I'll, I'll do it. Ah, ah, fuck! Damn, that hurt. Your brain. That was. <sighs> that was. Just like I taught you. <laughs> God, I can't for that. Didn't think you would remember anything I showed you. Well, yeah, I can see that now. <laughs> Obviously, I was mistaken. Not like it matters. <laughs> because, what are you gonna do, hmm? Sure, you've got me pinned. You even got me on arm. But what now? What's your move? <laughs> you have no idea what to do next, do you? Didn't plan this for a... <laughs> ah! Shit! Did you just fucking cut me? Fuck! You're... You're a piece of work, you know that. No, the knife is a beautiful piece of work. You're just a piece of work. No sweet word about it. <sighs> sure, you're smart, but that's not a fucking compliment. It's just a fact. Fuck. Not exactly a good one either, is it? Look where it's gotten you. You're the one holding the knife right now. But you possibly can't think that this is going to end with you winning, now would it? You might have the strength and stamina for making all your fun little weapons. But in terms of training, you only have what I taught you. Yeah, sure, you could hold your own in a scrap with some punk at a bar. But I'm a professional. At the end of the day, even if you can get a few hits on, you aren't winning this. <laughs> oh, you think so? Then give it your best shot. Doesn't matter what you do, because you're going to have to drop your guard eventually. When you do, I'm going to take that prototype 
I'm going to go back to the buyer, get the money from the contract, and be done with all of this. <laughs> questions. What's asking me questions going to do? Hmm? It's not going to change anything. Actually, why not? Sure, fine, whatever. It's not like I've got anywhere else to be. Ask why. Some airhead weapons dealer with a huge network in the deep wallet. Does it really matter what their name is, though? There's like so many people after you and your work that it could be anyone involved in black market dealings. Well, if you really need to know, it was someone who called themselves Red Light. Don't know their real name or how they look. They didn't even care to meet face to face when they hired me. Just sent some terrified nobody to make the initial contact and every time after that they just they just called me. And what about it? I'm a mercenary. I take weird contracts from annoying people all the time. It's not like this is anything new. <laughs> What's it matter to you? Hmm? Why does it matter that I took some asshole's contract? All you should care about right now is that I'm here for your gun and your head. You should be trying to figure out how to get out of that situation instead of asking these stupid questions. It's just going to make it more fun to kill you when I get my chance. <laughs> oh, we're going there. Why am I so mad at you? Are you really asking me that? <laughs> I'm mad at you because I was your bodyguard for years and you kicked me out without any warning. You just pushed me out of your life like I was fucking nothing. Of course, of course I'm pissed at you. Thankful? Fucking thankful. What would I be thankful that you pushed me away? You left me. Worse than that, you made me leave you. What about that would make me happy? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Do you know how much it hurt? Do you know what that felt like to be pushed aside? Like I never even mattered to you. I spent every day wondering what I did wrong. Wondering if I did something that hurt you. I don't even know what I did. But every single day, I wondered if I asked you to forgive me. If you would take me back. There have been nights where I couldn't sleep because I couldn't stop thinking about what went wrong and how I could fix it. Fuck. That's why I'm here right now. You asked me why I took some random jackass contract? You really want to know why I took this contract, huh? You want to know why I decided to hunt you down? Why I wanted to find you again even after you pushed me out of your damn life. Why am I doing all of this? <sighs> because I just have to know why. Why did you make me leave you? After all that time, after everything we'd been through, you just told me to get out. Why did I do something? Was I not enough? Did you not want me? around anymore. What was it, your brain? Hmm? What made you hate me? Answer me, dear brain. I know you could fucking answer me, so answer me.
<laughs> what? You don't have an answer? You can't tell me why you hate me? Can't even give me that. <laughs> of course not. Ah, fuck. I don't even know what I expected. I was a goddamn idiot to expect anything at all. Hmm. <laughs> when did I say that? <laughs> when did I say I hate you? When did I say I hate you, Cure Brain? When do you remember me telling you that? That's because I never did. I'll never say that. I didn't. I didn't back when I was your bodyguard. I didn't. On the night you turned me away like a fucking stray dog. I didn't any of the days after that. There wasn't a single day, even in the days where I was alone and cold and so fucking lost without you, that I ever said that I hated you because I never meant it. Even on my worst night, I couldn't bring myself to even think about hating you. I would think about how much it hurt that you would cut me out of your life and about how pissed off I was that you would push me away like you weren't the one who rescued me first. After all, you were the one who helped me from the curb and patched me up when my old dream tried to kill me. You were the one who sued me up and tried to heal the scars that you stitched. <sighs> you were, you were the one who suggested that I take a job as your bodyguard. So I would have somewhere to stay. But I never hated you. How could I even begin? To hate you. You can't use hate to replace the feelings that are already there. Not even when you hurt and angry and aching to go back to how it was. <laughs> What do I mean? What do you think I mean? Come on, you're the genius here. Haven't you figured it out yet? <laughs> And to think that I spent so many nights a wide awake, terrified that the reason you kicked me out was that you knew the truth. <sighs> But you have never been good with people, have you? You never realize why I stayed beside you for so damn long. Even when I could have been doing anything else. I never wanted to do anything else. You know, I wanted to stay by your side. I wanted to do anything you need me to. Anything you wanted me to. I would have done everything for you, Gearhead. And all you ever had to do was ask. I would have died for you if you asked me to. Want to know why? Because I loved you. Honestly, I still fucking love you. <laughs> Even after all this time, I love you like I never left. I love you just as much right now as I did when I took my first bullet for you. And I love you just as much right now as I will for the rest of my life. You got that, your brain. I love you. <laughs> What? 
did you not hear me? Or do you just not understand what I mean? <laughs> because that's as easy as I can make this for you. I love you. Plain and simple. Nothing more. Nothing less. And nothing else. I don't hate you because I could never, ever hate you. I have only ever, and will only, only ever love you. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do about it? Hmm? Wait, what are you? Oh, oh. Hi. What was, what was that? Why did you do that? <laughs> no. No. No, you don't mean that. You can't fucking mean that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't love me. How? How can you say that? How can you look me in the fucking eye and tell me that you love me after all that? Right, then why did you do it? Why did you tell me to leave? If you love me, then why would you hurt me like that? Of course there were times I got hurt. Gearbrain, I was your bodyguard. Not a porcelain doll that followed you around. My entire job was to protect you. And you aren't exactly a toy maker. You make highly dangerous weapons that the entire world wants to get their hands on. And they'll do it by any means necessary. A few scratches here and there are going to happen. Uh, no, stop. What was that? What did you just say? You think that you put a target on my back just by having me as your bodyguard? Yeah, obviously it did. There was no chance of me being associated with you and not being put in the crosshair of every enemy you already had. And it's not like I didn't have any enemies before I met you. Yeah, I had my fair share of danger grabbing at my throat. I just... I just didn't care. It, it never mattered. Because I love you. And all that danger that comes with you doesn't mean I love you less. I couldn't give a single damn about the enemies or the shootouts or the misfires and lab accidents. I love you. And I don't care if I have to take a few bullets and knives because of it. If it's to protect you and to stay with you, then it's all worth it. Of course you're worth it. I'm still here right now, aren't I? You're worth more than any contract, any weapon, any amount of money. You are worth every bit of pain I've been through. And so, so much more. Because just the thought of you makes me happy enough to forget every time I cry. You are worth standing here, risking my heart being broken again. You and my love for you is worth more than the fucking world. Fuck. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you the same thing? I don't care what happens. I'm here to stay, dear brain. I don't care if I get hurt, or if I bleed, or if I cry, or anything else. 
so long as I'm with you, it's all, all worth it. As long as I get to stand by your side and know that my heart beats in time with yours. There is nowhere else I would rather be. Now can you please get that through that thick skulls of yours? Good. Now that you're done being dense, I'm done trying to fulfill this stupid contract. Let's put all this painful stuff down for a bit and focus on something a bit nicer. Can we please kiss again? Because that first one was a few years right? <laughs> and we've got some time to make up for. I don't know if I'll be able to handle it with you <laughs> Of course I will. Um, um, your guard dog, remember? <laughs> Where you go, I go. No exceptions. From here on out, it's... It's you and me, together, like we should. Hey guys, Vincent here. Thank you so much for listening in to this audio. If you like this audio, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and share it with your friends as they'll make the YouTube overlord very, very happy. If you want to hear more, there'll be another audio in the screen sometime right now. Do check the description too if you would like to follow me on my socials or donate to help me and the channel out. I would also like to thank Softlight Static on Reddit for this angsty yet sweet audio script. It was actually pretty fun to fill and edit through. <laughs> With that, I'll see you in the next audio.